From UFO sightings to curses, there are a lot of mysterious things happening in Massachusetts where the Bridgewater Triangle is located. I'm Melissa Malati, your host, and here are your top 10 dark discoveries from inside the Bridgewater Triangle. In our number 10 spot, we have the first UFO sighting. In 1760, it was just another regular morning when all of New England awoke to a strange noise. No one could identify what the noise was coming from, but they did know that it was indeed coming from the sky. Many witnesses saw a strange glowing shape in the sky. It was broad daylight, so it wasn't a star or the night's darkness tricking their eyes. People saw the light in Roxbury and Bridgewater, Massachusetts. It's one thing if two people saw it, it's another if it's many people across two towns. The local paper even wrote about it at the time. It became the first UFO sighting of the area and it wasn't the last. In our number 9 spot, we have the mythical Thunderbird. There is a bird that a lot of the indigenous tribes of the area believe in, and this bird is called the Thunderbird. And there are quite a lot of sightings of this bird. The Thunderbird is a huge bird that is believed to have magical powers. There is a swamp called Hockomock Swamp in the Bridgewater Triangle, and that is where the bird has been spotted. People have described it as being a giant pterodactyl-like creature. In 1971, a police sergeant by the name of Thomas Downey was driving through the Bridgewater Triangle when he said that he saw a six foot tall creature with a wingspan nearly double its size. He apparently watched the bird fly off. That's wild. Well, if there has been many sightings, then it could very well be true. In our number eight spot, we have the Bridgewater Curse. So, people believe that the reason there are so many strange occurrences in this area is because way back when, a chief put a curse on the land. As the story goes, in 1675, Chief Medicom, also known as King Philip of the Wampanoag tribe, cast a curse on his deathbed. There was a war at the time called the King Philip's War, where the indigenous peoples of this tribe tried to drive the English colonists out of New England. The chief was lying in the swamp when he placed a curse upon the land before he passed away in the mud. Pretty iconic, if true. I wish I was around before to know if weird things happened before, because if they didn't, then obviously the curse is real. Will someone invent a time machine already? In our number seven spot, we have satanic cults. Apparently some strange discoveries were made in the 90s that led a lot of people to believe that the area was filled with satanic cults. The police of the area discovered a bunch of mutilated cows in the forest. This was going on for quite some time and the only thing they concluded was that it must be for some kind of ritual ceremony. The people responsible were never actually caught so the idea around it being the satanists is just speculation and suspicion. Personally, I'm wondering if anyone considered the Thunderbird theory. What if it was the bird eating the cows? Dun, dun, dun. In our number six spot, we have the triangular object. This is another notable UFO sighting from inside the triangle that many have witnessed. It happened on the night of July 3rd, 1972. A large triangular object was spotted in the sky. Apparently, it was the size of a baseball diamond and translucent. At least 26 people confirmed seeing it, they say, and the naval base at the time had calls off the hook. Whoa. What's interesting is that the triangular shaped object is also what NASA caught on camera and released to the public not too long ago. How wild to have witnessed this. In our number five spot, we have the red-headed hitchhiker. Apparently there are a lot of spooky stories and sightings of this hitchhiker, but this one is one of the scariest. A man and a woman are driving along Route 44 when they pulled over to find a payphone. On his way to the payphone, the man saw a red-headed stranger walking along and he looked like he needed help. The man went up to the red-headed guy and asked if he needed help. He did didn't reply. The man noticed that the red-headed man looked ghostly and his face was a bit contorted. The man of course was frightened and so he ran back to his car when he saw his wife standing outside of the car frightened. She said that she turned on the radio.
radio in the car and heard horrible laughter and a sort of taunting voice that called her by her name. I wonder if this is where the whole joke of redheads, you know, not having souls originated from. <laughs> I assumed it was from South Park or Family Guy, but maybe they were inspired by this story. Who knows? In our number four spot, we have a sphere of fire. Okay, this one is fascinating to me, and this alone makes me want to pack up my things and drive to the triangle. Apparently, there are many occurrences at night in the area where many, many people have witnessed a sphere of fire in the sky. It's almost like the aliens are playing a joke on the people in this area. Na 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 boo boo, we keep revealing ourselves to taunt you, and you can't do anything about it, and no one will believe you. Ha! Huh. That's how I picture the aliens behaving. I wonder if there is some underground government base in this area because then that would further explain all of this. All of these strange occurrences can't just be because a chief put a curse on the town, right? Multiple witnesses spotted balls of fire in the sky in 2011. Many, many reports were actually filed on this incident. In our number three spot, we have the ghost trucker. Okay, this one kind of made me laugh because I truly wonder if this is just a trucker that is bored and likes to pull pranks on people, or whether this is a legit ghost, but you can decide. <laughs> so apparently there are quite a few stories of people who have seen a ghostly trucker on Copacut Road in Fall River, Massachusetts. Apparently this trucker has a loud horn and it terrorizes motorists at night. It has been reported that headlights appear to be coming towards the witnesses, then the driver will honk its horn, and then when the witness will look closer at the truck and the person driving it, it will then disappear pretty wild. Especially if you're a bit, you know, tired at night, I could see how this may shake someone up to witness this. In our number two spot, we have sacred land. A lot of people may not realize this, but there were once quite a lot of indigenous tribes in this area, and there were unfortunately a lot of massacres as well. This land was once considered sacred, and so with all of the bloodshed on it, it makes sense that it might be haunted with spirits of the past. There have been so many reports of up set spirits in the area and most specifically in an area called Profile Rock. This was considered sacred land and there is a legend that indigenous warriors dance there and scare off any people who come near the land. It makes sense. Let them have their land and rest in peace. In our number one spot we have Bigfoot. I couldn't finish this list without including the man, the myth, the legend. Bigfoot. There have been a number of reported discoveries of Bigfoot in the Bridgewater Triangle, which may be surprising to hear as he is usually spotted more on the California coast, but perhaps this is Bigfoot's long lost cousin or younger brother that was separated at birth. There have been reports by the media, business owners, and even the police that have said that they have spotted a man that is half ape and half man. It was said in 1970, two police officers reported their car being lifted off the ground, and when they finally got a good look at who was doing this, they saw a big man that looked like a bear. It went straight into the woods after that. They, along with many, are convinced that they spotted Bigfoot, but there are also other sightings of mysterious cryptid creatures wandering around in this area too. So many mysterious reports in the Bridgewater Triangle. This video was so fun to research. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm your host, Melissa Malati. Follow me on Insta or YouTube, at Melissa Malati, and I will see you next time. I hope that you have a good day, sir. Or younger brother that was separated at birth. Littlefoot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, little foot from land before time. Ah, those were the good old days. <laughs> Will someone invent a time machine already? Correction. Will someone give me access to a time machine already? Area 51 workers, anyone?